This is the Mosin Mortgage Program with Sarah Mosin. Mosin Mortgage is licensed in several states for residential and commercial purchases and refinancing. Call 800-662-9550. And now, here's your host, Sarah Mosin. Folks, it's great to be back here again, and I am truly not only fascinated, but excited to have you here, Mike Kobold. How are you today? I'm fine. Thank you very much for having me, Sarah. I want to leave a little mystery, so I, I want you to share what you've done. I mean, you're not only a very wonderful entrepreneur, but you're fun as well. You, you're a doer, which is what I love. So <laughs> share a little bit about your story. Uh, I started a watch company as a uh, college project uh, about 18 years ago, um, and that morphed into a company that uh, is a trailblazer in vertical integration uh, as far as watchmaking is concerned in the mm -hmm. United States. Now, what does that mean? Um, the United States used to produce the best wristwatch, uh, sorry, the best watches in the world, um, and then the Second World War came along and, and American watch companies had to produce um, watches for the war, uh, for the military, and so the Swiss came in and flooded the market with watches, and that's how we today know Swiss made as a, as a good product. But it used to be American, and so we're restoring that. Uh, all the American watch companies went bankrupt by 69. There were none left. 1969, they all went bankrupt. So we were the first in almost 40 years to bring out a true American-made product. And that's a, that's a big accomplishment because uh, we lost that knowledge, and now we're bringing it back. Mm -hmm. I think you're very interesting. So this is why I love bringing people on air who are doing exciting things. And um, you climbed Mount Everest. I have to just add that to the list. Yes, yeah, I have. <laughs> and, um, and, I mean, I think that's daring, and yet it, it is something that we all want to aspire to, like goals, reaching those goals and seeing um, whether you can do it or not. But you, you did it, and how was it? How was the expedition? How did you find it? It was great. Uh, I actually uh, I did it twice um, because the first time we did it was with oxygen, and uh, my wife said, that doesn't count. You have to do it without oxygen because only wimps do it with oxygen. <laughs> and nice. so she, uh, she forced me to do it again. Uh, but I, I did it with oxygen the second time too, so she was disappointed. But uh, that was an expedition. Or those two expeditions were uh, organized to raise money for the, the Navy SEAL Warrior Fund. Nice. And uh, that's a fund that supports U.S. Navy SEALs who are injured and in, in their families if they're killed. Mm -hmm. And so it was for the good cause. Um, I have a fear of heights, so I never expected to reach the summit. And neither did the Navy SEALs. They, in fact, trained me on their base in Coronado. Wow. And uh, so as a watchmaker, you typically are a little bit pudgy. Um, it's a very sedentary position. So when I arrived at the at the SEAL training grounds in uh, in Coronado, they looked at me and they said, you're puny, you know, you have to do something. <laughs> and uh, that was much harder than the actual climb itself. I just think that this is not, I mean, you're telling me now you've climbed it twice, so I really have to try this out at least once because, I, I mean, I'm all about trying stuff and going beyond those limits and, and reaching those goals. And did you meet your wife? on the climb or so I've heard <laughs> yes I actually did um, we met on uh, on the flight to into the Himalayas so you fly into a place called Lukla it's known as the most dangerous airport in the world because uh, at the end of the runway is a big mountain you can crash into it and um, and then we trekked for 10 days to base camp because there's no there's not even a wheelbarrow there's no wheel transportation you have to walk you have to trek and after 10 days we reached base camp and by the by the end of that 10-day trek, we were an item. And she felt that having just gone through Navy SEAL training, I looked very sexy. <laughs> and uh, she asked, how many mountains have you climbed? And I said, I had never climbed a mountain in my life, which she didn't believe. Mm -hmm. And this, She's a very well-accomplished mountaineer. And she didn't think that that was the truth. And she felt that I was probably being humble, which she also felt was sexy. <laughs> and then uh, a week after getting to base camp, we got ready to start climbing. And she realized suddenly in the ice fall that I had never put on crampons and that I truly had never climbed. So she said that it was the most unsexy thing she had ever seen, but it was too late. <laughs> too late. <laughs> and, uh, and then just the other day she said, you know, uh, when I met you, you looked like a Navy SEAL, and uh, but now you look like a Pacific SEAL. Which, uh, <laughs> I love it. That's hilarious. You don't look like a Pacific SEAL, but I have to say um, I love your watches. I've I've... Thank you. I, and Thank and you. and they're well worn by many. I mean, celebrities, the Navy SEAL, um, presidents, former presidents. I mean, 
And and can you just list a few people that have worn them? And I know you're humble, but I, I need to like share. And it, you can purchase them online as well, right? Yes, we actually sell them factory direct. We manufacture them um, in uh, in Pennsylvania, in Amish country, uh, mm-hmm. but an hour north of Pittsburgh, as opposed to in eastern PA. Uh, we have the second largest Amish community in, in North America, uh, right outside my house, uh, right outside our farm. Beautiful. And that's where we make them. So a very peaceful environment. And... Um, and the people who wear them, uh, Serrano Fines, whom uh, the Guinness Book of World Records lists as the greatest living explorer. Uh, he's our brand ambassador in chief. Um, Malcolm McDowell, uh, pretty famous actor. Uh, a bunch of other actors. I won't, you know, rattle down the list. But uh, we have, you know, as you said, ex presidents. We have members of royal families in Europe and in the Middle East mm-hmm. and in Asia. So we're pretty well represented. Yes. Um, but uh, our the star of of our new marketing campaign is uh, a gentleman called uh, Johnny Lorino, who is Johnny the mailman. Uh, he's actually the mailman on my old run, uh, on my old um, in my old apartment in Shady Side, Pittsburgh. And um, why a mailman? You might say, well, you've got all these celebrities, and and we do use them in our commercials and our ads. But right. why a mailman? Because you can relate to one. Everybody has oh, a mailman. And if you meet Johnny the Mailman, I hope you interview him. You put him on this program. He is 10 times more fun to listen to than I am. Well, it's funny you said this, but my personal trainer for the last four years delivers mail. That's her full-time job, and she's exceptional. Right. And she is the person that I look at and say, wow, you can be out there in the elements eight, nine hours and train like a maniac and compete and succeed. And be chased by dogs and crazy people who are right. off their meds. You know, being a mailman is pretty adventurous. And our, our shtick, our marketing ploy is embrace adventure. That's our, our slogan and then the brand message. And so who better than somebody who can who can say that every single day of their lives mm-hmm. they are living an adventure? Even an explorer can't say that. But if you bring Johnny the Mailman on, he has more personality in his little pinky than the entire U.S. Postal Service has across the country. I think that's fascinating because truly being out there and and embracing adventure is what I love, that whole concept, Mm -hmm. because every Mm -hmm. day is an adventure and and to live it and to experience it because I think those are defining moments in itself. It doesn't mean like every day you can do something that is fun or exciting. It doesn't mean that you have to climb Mount Everest. I'm thinking about it, but it's certainly... I never thought (laughs) I'd climb any mountains. Uh, It was just supposed to be a a way to raise money for the SEAL Foundation. I thought if I get to Camp 1, I can turn around and go home, but... uh, Can you give a a website so that people have access to your watches at least? Because they're beautiful pieces, I have to say. Thank you. Uh, Yeah, it's it's, uh, coboltwatch.com. It's pretty easy. uh, Or you can just Google cobalt and watches, Mm K-O-B-O-L-D. And, uh, you know, we we make them and, and ship them all around the country, all over the world, in fact. Wonderful. And you're an entrepreneur and you love what you do. I can see that. And I think that's very important in life. I I had a good friend of mine who said to me, I said, what, what do you want to share, you know, for folks in the new year? I interviewed him last uh, December and he said, fulfill your life's purpose. I think that's so important, being of service and doing good and being a part of the community. And mm-hmm. it's it's not about how much money you make. It's how many people's lives that touch you that you, you know, end up also touching as well. That's and, absolutely correct. You're right. I think I subscribe to that. Yeah. yeah. And so I'm really excited you're doing this expedition, your fundraising event that's coming up as well, you said. Yes. Um, so Kathmandu, we, ha- we have a close relationship with uh, with Nepal and the people of Nepal. And, and I've gone back 30, 40 times in the mm-hmm. last few years. Uh, it, Kathmandu is a valley. Uh, it's you know nestled in between the Himalayas and a mountain ridge uh, dividing Nepal from India. And... It has more in that valley are more UNESCO World Heritage sites than anywhere else in the world, and the highest concentration of them. Um, in addition, there are 2.5 million people around living in Kathmandu, but they only have four fire trucks at the Kathmandu Fire Department. So the fire chief asked me if I could bring a couple of fire trucks with me next time I come. It's a tall order, but I did some research, and it just so happens that there is a FEMA program whereby big American fire departments get grants and they have to prove when they spend the money to to purchase new equipment that they decommission the old equipment. So there is a surplus of, of pre-owned fire trucks. And of course, fire trucks aren't driven you know, for hundreds of miles a day. They're driven for a couple of miles at most, mm-hmm. not very often. So you can get a, an old fire truck, five, six years old, with very few miles. 
So we managed to find these two fire trucks in great shape, and um, and what we're doing is we're sticking them on a on a ship, shipping them off to uh, Calcutta, India, and then a group of uh, friends of mine and I are going to pick them up at the harbor and drive them into Kathmandu, which will be an amazing three four day trip through mm-hmm. some very beautiful mountainous regions, but on the most dangerous highway on earth because you're driving through landslide territory, you know, very high mountain passes and no guardrails. And the people who are going on this trip are Sir Reynold Fiennes, the explorer, Malcolm McDowell, um, U.S. ambassador to Uganda, who's a former U.S. ambassador to Nepal, and uh, and Miss Nepal is a very beautiful woman, and a few other people, including some Navy SEALs. And we're all being followed by these Land Rover uh, support vehicles. Um, Land Rover is one of our key sponsors. And uh, and there'll be a, a, a film crew embedded to film all this. Uh, so it'll be a wonderful Beautiful. adventure. And Beautiful. we're looking forward to it. Wonderful. Hey, folks, just give us a call here at 1-800-662-9550. We're trying to raise money as well as have fun. I, I really appreciate you coming in, Mike. And again, um, if you need to reach out, or the watches are beautiful. So um, Thank we, you very much. Yeah, you can always call us in the website again if you can just give that out again, Mike. It's it's uh, coboltwatch.com. Perfect. And uh, I hope to have you back again soon, okay? Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. All right. Stay well, folks. This has been the Mosin Mortgage Program with Sarah Mosin. Mosin Mortgage is licensed in several states for residential and commercial purchases and refinancing. Call 800-662-9550.